Hey guys, so Movo has this new all-in-one video kit and it is everything you need to get started making videos for YouTube or social media, TikTok, basically a whole studio in a kit. And this is interesting for me because when I first started out, I actually pieced together something that ended up being similar to what's in this kit. So I'm interested to look at this and see how it is. So quick disclaimer before we get started, Movo did send me this kit for the purposes of a review, but I'm not getting paid to make this video. I have complete creative control over this video. Movo doesn't have any say in what I say or put in this video, and they don't even get to see the video before I upload it. So everything in here is my honest opinion and review of the product. So let's look at first what's in the box. It comes with the VXR10 Pro microphone, two mic holders, which is really nice to have a backup just in case something happens to one, a smartphone holder, a mini tripod, and it comes with this kind of extension, a panel light, an 18 millimeter smartphone lens that you can attach to your smartphone, and then a Bluetooth shutter remote for a smartphone. They also included this dead cat, the furry windscreen. For a mic at this price range to have both of these options is really nice. It comes with this grip that's going to make it easier to use this setup for handheld vlogging. We also have this strap that you can attach to the camera holder. And then we have a lens cleaning cloth and some stickers in here as well. All right, so the first use that I thought about for this kit was TikTok. So I set up a photo shoot and used the kit with my smartphone to film a photography tutorial video for TikTok, and it worked really well for that. All right, so now I'm out here with the entire vlogging kit set up. I'm using the mic into my smartphone right now, and this is just the standard camera on my smartphone. Some smartphones now have a wide angle camera. I don't have that on my camera. So now let's switch it to using the lens. All right, so now I have the lens on here and it should give a wider field of view and make it a lot easier to film myself and make sure that I'm actually in the frame and also show more of the environment around me, especially if you don't have a wide angle lens on your phone. So of course you can have the mic on your camera or your phone and get better audio that way, but if you wanna have the best audio, it's always better to get your mic as close to the subject as possible. So you can either do something like this, how I have it set up here, kind of podcasting style, or like I usually do with my mic, is to boom it in just out of the frame on a mic stand or something like that. But if you do go with this option, this is what your audio is gonna sound like through this mic. All right, so now some of what I see as the pros and cons of this kit, and I'm gonna start with the pros. So first off, I think it's really nice that this whole kit already comes together. You don't have to piece it out. It's just all there. I think it's also, for the most part, pretty good quality stuff that you have in the kit. The tripod in this kit is very versatile. You can go from just having the legs and having a really small setup, and then you can add the extension and even have the full setup with the grip attached to it and put the tripod legs on the bottom of that and end up with a really tall desktop tripod setup. So the next pro for me is the smartphone mount. This is probably the best smartphone mount I've ever used. It is well built. It's it's easy to turn from one angle to the other. It's going to be big enough to fit even if you have like one of the max size of smartphones. And initially I was a little bit disappointed because if you turn the mount horizontally as if you're filming for YouTube or something, then it blocks one of the cold shoe accessory mounts, but the light actually has three accessory mounts for cold shoe on it. And that way you can still film with the light and the mic attached at the same time, even if you're filming horizontally. So I thought that was a really good use of space and accessory mounts. And the smartphone mount itself has two different bubble levels on it. So regardless of which way you're filming, you're not gonna have to worry about having weird angles in your videos, which is very nice. The next pro for me, and honestly, probably the biggest pro in this kit is the mic that it comes with. And I was really surprised at the audio quality from this mic. It's surprisingly full for a mic of this size that's not powered. And again, sound quality is probably the most important factor for video. People can deal with less than great video quality, but 
terrible sound, they're gonna leave your video really quickly. So it's nice that this mic works as well as it does. The construction is good and it has a headphone output on the back of the mic so you can make sure that you're actually getting the sound that you want as far as not having too much wind noise in the background or anything like that. And that is especially useful because that's not easy to do when you're filming with a smartphone. Another pro for me is that a lot of this kit can actually grow with you even if you go beyond filming with your smartphone. So the mic, for instance, comes with cables for both filming with a phone and filming with a camera, and they're clearly labeled, which is very nice so you don't get them confused. The light that comes in this set, it's just always really handy to have a compact light to add a little extra light into a shot or add some accents somewhere in the background. This tripod is a small desktop tripod, but it can also support the weight of a small size camera setup. Having the clip-on lens for a smartphone camera in this kit is a pro for me as well because this lens is actually a really nice wide angle. And then I personally also really like that this kit comes in a nice carrying case. That makes it easy to just throw it into a backpack or just carry the case with you and not have to worry about having a camera bag or something that's gonna still keep your stuff safe. So of course it's not perfect, and I wanna talk about some of the cons. Going back to the mic, which is one of the most important things in this kit, the windscreen that comes with it doesn't fit very well, and that's kind of a big bummer because I feel like if you're in strong wind, it might take this furry windscreen off of the mic. So maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but I couldn't get it to fit well. Another thing to keep in mind is with the tripod slash selfie stick, it doesn't telescope at all. So you can't pull it in or out to make it go further or closer to you or taller if you're using it as a desktop tripod. That has its advantages because it's going to make it sturdier. And this is a sturdier, like kind of single piece construction with everything in here, but it's much less adjustable as well. Another thing I wasn't super impressed with was the Bluetooth remote in here. It seems that it only works for taking photos and not stopping and starting video. It seems less useful in this specific kit. A couple things about the light in this kit, it is not diffused light, so it's not gonna necessarily be the best for having as the only light in your shot. It's actually pretty good for just adding some extra light here and there. To be fair, what it's mainly for is if you're out somewhere, you have natural light, and you just need it to be a little bit brighter right on your face or the subject that you're filming, and it'll do pretty well for that. But also to be fair, if you are filming yourself in a studio setup like this, really the first thing beyond something like this kit that you need to invest in is a decent lighting setup so that you don't have to be dependent on having good natural light. And then the last thing, going back to the mic, if you're filming using an iPhone like I was, you will have to make sure that you have that lightning adapter to be able to connect the mic to the camera. That's not something necessarily on this product, but it is definitely something that you need to remember. So who is this kit for? And I think really definitely any creator who's starting out and doesn't wanna break the bank getting a bunch of new gear, any creator who wants to continue using their smartphone and have enough gear to be helpful, but not so much gear that the gear itself becomes a headache to worry about, and any content creator who is creating on their phone and wants to bring up their production quality just that little bit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in this kit or any of the stuff that I've talked about in this video, I will have affiliate links in the description below. You can click down there at no extra cost. If you use those links, it'll help support this channel a little bit so that I can continue making videos for you guys. If you like these types of videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and see ya.